So it's that time of year. Guess what I have? Something very magical for you. A swarm. It's my first swarm of the year. At least that I've seen. Just walked up into the apiary and there she is. And so I have my box here ready. And there's a couple ways I'm going to try to get her down. I have my loppers ready to clip that branch, which is the easiest way. But just before I bring it down, I'm going to try to get the queen first. And I do not carry a ladder and it's much too high for me to actually do, although I have a tall helper. And one of the ways is to footprint them. Footprinting. If you have a frame of drawn wax, you can put it up there, regardless of what it's in there. But this frame actually has open brood. And they cannot resist open brood, especially after they've swarmed. And so, nine times out of ten, I can actually get the queen to go right to the frame. It's a little bit slower in grabbing the swarm, but I take a little bit of time and try it. This box has all empty because they'll be able to grow this hive, but I am also giving them a very, that's very heavy, heavy frame of nectar so that they will be drawn to the box more than want to just get up and go once they're in there. Because even though you catch the swarm, it doesn't mean that they'll stay. One of the things about swarms is that this one has already set, so I missed the go. She's now hanging there. They're not going to stay there, so I have to get her down if I want to try to keep her. But once in the box, there's no guarantee that she's going to stay there. And some people have tried queen excluders. Never put a queen excluder in there unless you are sure you have the queen and that she is either caged in your box or uh, definitely on the frame. Because early on when I was doing swarms, I thought, oh, I've got her, put her in. Actually, I excluded the queen out of the box. It happens. You don't want to exclude the queen. If she somehow is in the group that dropped to the ground, you want to allow her to get in. Otherwise, all that work you just did was for nothing. If I'm in frame. Down there. Where? Do you in see something? Did you see something move? You hear it. I don't. It's almost right below the form. You see something? No, but since that berry's there, that might be a turtle. A turtle? Turtle, snake. One of those two. That's all we have. No, I don't want a snake. It isn't time for snakes yet. It's a little cool, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. But then again, it might be like a racer. A gardener or something. Here, one thing, one thing. Yeah. Not too far, because I really think they're big. Yeah. God, they're huge. Careful, because I don't want it swinging back either. Jeez, they're huge. You're gonna be like that Hispanic dude in the tree. <laughs> Start running. <laughs> you would die at that. 
Oh yeah, I would, I would be like. <laughs> Just accept fate and die. <laughs> yeah. If I just chop that one branch, we could get it down, yeah? Or should you see her on three, three branches up there? One branch. Just one branch. It's probably a, it's probably a uh, five pound swarm at least. And uh, if she's on here, I can't see her. But it's a heavy, very heavy group. So I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, did I see you? I thought I saw her. I'm going to go ahead and chop that branch. I'm gonna go ahead and chop that branch and try to get her in. They've got a smell on this, and if I can just lay it on them, they'll be good. Let's look. I think if she's on that, she's on the other side. There's so well, we just over there. Look. Cause I don't want to shake them off. I can do one with the honey frame too, although the honey frame is very heavy. They definitely go to the nectar frame, but maybe not as much as the brood frames. And she's still huge up there. So we're going to cut it. Holly, 
we probably one. We didn't catch that. Do you want to do close up on the corn? Yeah. This is about um, 10 pounds. Oh, you think so? So then what I put in there was a couple pounds, so. You can look through it. <coughs> Ooh. You can look through <laughs> it. dropped my They have storm. pollen. Yeah. A lot of it. Okay. Okay, now. And, hold on. You want to take this side? Hold on. Sometimes you can see it run through. Record. Yeah, it's a beauty, man. It's a beauty. Hopefully she's not mine, but she came from somewhere. Okay. Now. Okay, so. I think you should snip these side branches off. Well, we can lay her down and then snip them. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Because then I'm going to get a sheet to cover them instead of a lid. Actually, I don't think we, well, I'd rather not snip the side pieces. Okay. You know, I'll go, you can go get a sheet. What about that frame? Huh? What about the missing frame? Well, I'm going to come back later when they're off. Should we put a sheet over it? Yeah, I want to go get a sheet. Okay. Okay. Take a photo of it. Okay, so now that we've got her down, we've got her on there. There's still a little bit going back up, but I'm going to cover her with a sheet and come back later after I've done some of my work in the apiary. These should be all down. Definitely leaving them an entrance. You want to just hold it? Yeah, you put the sheet on. So we're back. So we did a couple hours of work pulling pollen traps. Ooh, that's heavy. And now we come back to just close them back up. Oh my god. Sometimes you jump B in there, get her out. And we're back and we're just gonna pull the sheet, make sure that no one's still on there. So they're still on there. They're gonna stay on there. So I've got rain tomorrow. Now I'm gonna shake them. So my jacket came on because today was supposed to be 73 and it's definitely not. And then the gnats come out, no see them. So that keeps the darker the day she could have flown if it was nice and bright. But this 
worked in our favor in that she's still here. If she wanted to fly on a sunny day, she could go. A darker day, she generally won't. So now we're just gonna shake her off the sheet, off the branch, and then close her up. She's really full of bees. That's it, that's catching a swarm. That branch actually has queen pheromone. I don't wanna really put it back up in the tree and I don't wanna leave it on top of the hive. If I put it back up in the tree, probably in the next few days, where they landed has queen pheromone right there and I don't know how long she was there. So a lot of times I don't like cutting the branches, but today I needed time to work and not catch a swarm. So this is gonna probably, I'm gonna stick it right here low and another swarm, if it happens, may find it. And if you keep it low, And they really like that type of tree, this, jeez, uh, a bay tree. They really like that bay tree for swarming. So there she's in there, her pheromone's stronger. She's been in there a couple hours. And that's it. So catch your swarms. So it's, uh, it's fun and it's interesting. Sometimes it's frustrating. Until next time, peace out, bruh. Peace.